Officer James here and welcome to another episode of Chadamo Police. We have had a call about two gentlemen, one in his late 40s and the other in his early 40s at a charging point and they have been reported to be ciphering electricity from the charge point into their vehicle for free without the correct Charge Place Scotland card. So we are going to head down there and find out what is actually happening and question them about their activities. Right, so we've got Jamie, Ross and Graham uh, helping me today. Well, actually, Graham's not really helping. He's nope. just, <laughs> he just turned up. <laughs> Don't know who he is. <laughs> uh, so these guys are uh, lending their cars uh, to give us a hand with the test today. Okay, so we have uh, three Leafs here. We've got uh, my car, another 40, which is the black one, and then we've got a uh, 30, and we're basically gonna be charging these car up from roughly about 30% up for 20 minutes. Uh, we're charging up the first Leaf with nothing on. All systems are off, and we're just gonna check the temperature after 20 minutes. Okay, so with the black, 40 leaf it started at 15.6 degrees so we're going to find out what the temperature is after the car temperature is 23.4 degrees and it ended up at 28.5 degrees right so what i've done here is switch the aircon on so it's at 16 degrees and the inside temperature is actually starting to drop so I'm going to jump out the car and let it cool down. So the AC is on, so we're going to see if this is going to affect the car. So now that we've got the AC on in my car, we're going to see what that actually produces. Right, so we're about 10 minutes in now, and the temperature on the outside of, uh, well, on the inside of the vehicle is at 16 degrees. So the aircon is working as intended, I suppose. Right, so we've got one minute left on the charge. So it's gonna be the moment of truth. We're gonna find out if uh, having the AC on actually helps with cooling the battery down. So for Jamie's car, the black Nissan Leaf, it started off at 15.6 degrees and ended at 28.5. So that's 12.9 degrees. And for my car, it started off at 17.7 and ended at 29.7 which is a 12 degrees increase. So there's a 0.9 difference between having the AC on and not having on. So does that mean that the inside of the cabin is actually cooling the, helping to cool the battery or is it something else? So we're charging up the Leaf 24 for 20 minutes. You just want to see what sort of heat that produces in that sort of time. So on the Leaf 24 here, the end temperature is at 20.2 and the start was at 16.2. So compared to Leaf 40, that's uh, two thirds less heat it's produced in that 20 minutes compared to what we were getting with the, um, the other two Leafs. Congratulations, you won. <laughs> I think it's the car should be. <laughs> I, I just don't know what to say. It's, uh, that's amazing that it's actually... It's creeping up though. So we're just sitting here gassing for about five minutes yeah and uh, the temperature shot up to 20.8 so I think the chemistry in the new leaf 40 is actually better in the sense that when we leave it to rest for five minutes the temperature is actually going down whereas on the 24 it's starting to go up um, so the only only explanation for that would be uh, how they built the uh, chemistry for the battery that's my theory and I'm sticking with it. What do you reckon? My car's cooler overall, so... <laughs> it, is, it is cooler <laughs> overall, by two thirds. <laughs> so, for the second test, we're going to find out what happens when we cool down the inside of the cabin. So after running some tests with the lads at the charging station and calling back to HQ, it seems like they had the right documentation but because they looked a little bit shifty, I gave them a warning just to make sure they behave themselves next time. So we got a call from a lady concerned about a neighbor because the car in the garage has got a pipe 
hang out the back window and it's all taped up. And she's just worried in case they're in the car. So we're just going to head down there and check it out. Right, so for this experiment we're going to look at heating up the inside cabin temperature and keeping track of it. And uh, I'll have the garage door closed so it'll keep the ambient temperature outside the same, hopefully. So what I've done is leave all the windows open overnight just so that the inside cabin and the outside is the same temperature. So that's inside is 13.6 and out here we have 13.3 so if we come around here to the crime scene you will see that I have this is what the concerned neighbour was talking about this cable coming down into the wall socket and then if we come around to the back here a lovely oil heater and that's going to heat up the cabin I am thinking maybe 35 degrees because uh, I've got four hours so we're going to leave this oil radiator on at 35 degrees it should keep the temperature the same uh, and basically heat up the cabin this will let us know if the inside cabin temperature affects the battery temperature at all in any sort of way so we set this to 35 degrees and you can hear some popping sound as well as some workmen outside but this will let you know that it is actually heating the cabin we will look at the thermometers uh, every hour for four hours and check the temperature of the car we'll see if the inside temperature makes any difference I'm gonna go over and close all the windows now and set the timer on and we'll get back to this soon. Uh, let's check the time. The time is 8.15. The outside air temperature is 12 degrees centigrade. We'll be shielded from the wind because it'll be inside here. So now that we started the test, the inside cabin is 13.7 degrees centigrade and the outside temperature is 13. I'm gonna close the garage door now and let the car do its thing. So I thought I'll check on the car after 30 minutes in case I start burning it down. <laughs> and the outside temperature is 13.3 degrees, so it's gone up slightly. Not sure if it's the position of where this is. I'll put it a bit further out. The inside temperature is 23.1, so it's, uh, it's gone up. Right, so it's been over an hour now. And if we come in here, the outside temperature is risen to 14.5 and the inside is 28.2. Right, let's check the back of the car, make sure nothing has melted. Oh, all looking good, still toasty. Everything looks fine. And jump in the car. So according to leaf spike, the temperature's dropping. So it looks like the inside cabin temperature doesn't really affect the car. I think it's still cooling, the battery's still cooling down with inside its own cocoon from last night. So the, the so it's still catching up with the temperature outside at about 12 degrees on the dash here. So on here the dash is saying it's 12 degrees outside. So it's been two hours now and the temperature on the ground floor is 13.6. So I think I was getting a little bit of heat before from the actual bonnet. The inside car temperature is 30 degrees centigrade. It smells warm. Oh, I can feel the heat. Right, let's go into the car. The battery is now at 16 degrees. So it looks like the way it's been encased, the actual temperature inside the cabin doesn't affect it. It's still dropping to the outside ambient temperature of about 12, 13 degrees. Uh, I think it's gonna basically cool down 
to be more in line with that than it is with the inside cabin temperature. Right, so it's been three and a half hours now and the outside temperature is 15.2 degrees centigrade and in the car is 30.4. So looking at least by, we are at 16.1 degrees centigrade. It does help a little bit if you put the aircon on, but not in the way that we're thinking. It's more uh, to do with the draw of power that, that's getting into the, the vehicle rather than the heat of the cabin or the cooler temperature of the cabin. Um, we'll have to do another test. I'll have to uh, call in Jamie and see if he'll come down. We'll try and get to about the same level again for 30, um, 30%. Um, yeah, about 30% on the battery. And then we'll try and do a test where we check out his temperature when putting the heating on and me putting the aircon on and see if they both come out with the same sort of results as last time. Uh, so we can decide if putting the heating on or putting the aircon on is a better option. Right, for now, I am going to open the windows, cool, cool the car down. Actually takes up quite a lot of uh, power doing this test. So once again, I'd like to say thanks for watching and if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button below and uh, I'll hopefully get to do some more tests for you guys next time.